You guys ready? Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel, and how's it going? Hey, uh, before I get started, can I remind you to like the video, or share our video, or comment on our video? We'd love to hear from you. Uh, just a follow up from yesterday's video, uh, we did do a gas run, I did buy more gas. Um, fuel holders, plastic, I want to say gas can, but they're not really cans, are they? Anyway, uh, another thing coming up this year is the fifth wheel, we're going to get in the cold season in about a month, so it's getting time to winterize the fifth wheel, but we do have guests coming in two weeks. Uh, so, some of the other things I had to do when we were gone is, uh, I've noticed as a uh, falls coming in, we're getting a lot more birds and we consider our property a bird sanctuary so got a good deal on 25 pounds of bird seed We've got to fill up the bird feeders and behind that is if you're going to own a Traeger grill you always want to get pellets and uh, I was getting low on pellets and that's one of the things I'm going to talk about in a video when we uh, do uh, an update on our one month prep video challenge anyway uh, uh, so if you're gonna have a trigger gotta get pellets and I'm finding at least around here that the price of pellets have been fantastic for the trigger and uh, I tend to like to use alder and I'm having no trouble getting that yet there's a wood shortage <laughs> just don't get it the other thing I managed to get yesterday was I've been complaining it's hard to get steel cans. These work great for storing uh, lots of uh, bird food and stuff like that. I keep one out at the chicken pen and this one's going in the house and because we do have mice here and there uh, to keep our dog food in even though they're still in bags. I told you in earlier videos I tried to store some dog food out here in the shop. Was not a good idea. We are back to uh, talking about gas cans or plastic containers and I told you that these uh, particular valves are really a pain they're hard to push in it literally takes both me and Sherry one to hold <laughs> the safety lock open while the other one pours and uh, uh, also I found with these kind of cans there's no handle in the back so when you're tipping it it's really hard so I also came across out of Winco adapters. So I'm hoping one of these adapters will fit to replace this particular kind of uh, spout. No, I do not recommend changing the spout. They're safety. Um, they're designed for safety, but man, they're just hard to use. And so I'm going to override it with this. Do I recommend it? I'm not going to say I'm going to recommend it. <laughs> But I'm doing it. Uh, the other thing I did buy uh, is, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm getting old, um, is these cans here. So these uh, do have handles in the back right there. And, uh, whoops, and they just leaked some of my shoe. Good deal, Rob. Anyway, uh, but once again, they've got a safety uh, valve on them. But you're incredibly hard to push and open up. I don't know what the deal is. So uh, anyway, but now I got the universal uh, funnels, and that'll be good. And then uh, you say, "Well, Rob, you're, you got all this gas here, 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 and I know it's dark, but I also have 20 gallons of fuel there. I also keep 10 gallons of diesel for the tractor." And yes, we are now starting to use stabilizer. So all of these will get stabilizer except for what we're going to use in the next month or so. And uh, help protect uh, our fuel um, in case I have to uh, 
<laughs> my was surely interrupted by Did you guys see that? <laughs> Told you we have mice. My dog has been great for finding mice. And uh unlike my cat. <laughs> so uh she didn't get it, but she's caught them before. So uh anyway, so I rest my case about the, the mice issue. So anyway, let's uh move on because we've got lots of projects going on and Sherry's still working her garden. And we got to cover that uh, garden with tarp today. So uh, I have a 30 by 30 tarp we're going to spread and get get it ready for the winter. But while well, before I get anything else started today, I do have to change the water out for the chickens. So let's get that done. Oh, what are we doing? Making sharpening the clippers. So how did you learn how to do that? YouTube. <laughs> YouTube's my friend. Yeah. I cleaned them up a little bit and oiled them and now I'm just working on sharpening the edge a little bit. Yeah, so they suggest a file? Well, sharpening stone or this is all I could find yeah. that was similar. I do have some finer ones. Uh, but it definitely seems to be getting the edge better. Yeah. These were pretty bad. So our savior has always been YouTube for finding out ways of sharpening tools and little things like that. Uh, she says this is working really good and uh, nice to know. So uh, do you need a, do you want a finer? No, this is, this is pretty. Yeah. Well, it's working think? pretty good. Yeah, it does. you got a nice blade on there. So it's only the one side, you don't do it on the back side because this is flat. You just want to make sure that if there's any burrs or anything, yeah. you get those off. And, you know, it's already got a beveled edge here. You just want to follow the be beveled edge. Interesting. Take just a little bit of the metal off. Yeah, very cool. See, we learned something today. Another thing Sherry's been using a lot is uh, app. What's this app called? Picture it. It's called Picture It, and the reason is when. Oh, picture this. Picture this. It's an app on our phone, and whenever we get some plant that we're not sure what it is, because her mother planted all kinds of stuff here, before we cut it out, we want to know what it is, whether we should pre preserve it or not. So all she has to do is take a picture of it, and the app will tell her exactly, well, pretty much everything you want to know about that plant. So, uh, how fast does it work? Um, it works fast. I mean, it goes through it, and this is a plant. It's, it's a dogwood. It's a uh, in the dogwood family, and it's telling me that I have leaf-eating pests are found on your plant. <laughs> wow. 
those, which you can tell. I mean, if yeah. you look at the leaves and stuff, I could already tell that. But it gives all kinds of information on here, and this is how I'm learning what we have on the property. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> you have a leaf eating plant, a bug on here, you think? Huh. So, anyway, uh, I uh, highly recommend Sherry's really been enjoying that app. I know you've been using it a lot. Oh. So is it a keeper? No, I it's I don't want it here. I mean it might be it'd be fine in other places of the property, but right now this garden here is right next to our kitchen and the sunroom and this is the doors. It's obstructing our pathway. Uh, and anyway, so I want to clear this up to get more light into it. I don't like having um, leaves and stuff um, up, against, up the against the roof or up against the house. And so this is might be fine if it's under control, but right now it's not under control. So I'm going to be taking out a lot of this and then a lot of the olive tree that's over here. Yeah. So we got an olive tree right there too, just like before. And that's huge. And if you can see, it's pretty overgrown here. I've got a juniper over here that is just humongous. It needs to be pruned up. We need to get all the grass out here. We need to get everything away from the uh, the siding of the house. So this is one of my next projects um, to clean it up. And go yeah. So we've seen old pictures of what this did look like. It was beautiful. But once again it was I don't want to use the word neglected, but it was uh, just not worked on for the last five years and it took over. And this is kind of what we're up, up against in different parts of the house. We're just restoring it and because this can be a beautiful area back here. Yeah. It just needs a little work. Yeah, I love this birdhouse. So anyway, so that's another one of the projects that Sherry's been kind of focused on and which I really appreciate. And uh, this area is uh could be just so charming that's the master bedroom right there and uh we did spray in here you can tell that we sprayed and we're trying to kill off the grass because it makes it so much easier to pull out and then we'll get this under control and probably introduce beauty bark here and uh decide what we're going to do with the pathways but uh it's it's just endless here but this her sherry's projects here are just gorgeous when they're done yeah. but they're massive projects so uh there you go well guys we're getting to the end of the video once again i don't like to keep them too long uh, i really like a like to take the time to thank you for watching supporting our channel and our family uh the best thing you can do for us is to share our videos we would appreciate that uh <laughs> we got plenty of projects coming up get to learn a little bit about sharpening uh uh, cutters uh, yeah the one thing we found is when when in doubt see if you can find it on YouTube and amazingly enough it's always there so uh, please take the time to like and subscribe to our channel become part of our family leave comments and say hello uh, introduce yourself we'd love to meet you and uh, yeah so we want to try to get this channel to grow, and we appreciate it. So, guys, take care, and thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.